Okay, in the previous video we talked about PLU programming and we showed you one of the labels that came out and if you remember correctly we did so we put in our PLU number, we hit PLU, there's our sandwich, we hit enter and it prints out the label. Now again what I showed you earlier was if you look here on this little bitty tiny line it's almost impossible for me to get on the camera that actually says sandwich okay that's no good so we need to change that super simple process so we're going to go back remember we're going to hit our program key we hit it once twice three times first menu comes up is program plu hit the enter button we want to fix the font for plu802 which was the sandwich so we enter that in hit the enter button now we're just going to keep hitting the enter button until we get to where it says sandwich. Now, you set up here, these are your font sizes here. You have S1 and then you have 63. So for S1, you're able to get 63 characters per line. As you can tell, it was very, very small. So we come over here to the size button, which again, this is why your alphabet card is very important. Tap the size button. Now it makes it size A52, right? or excuse me, S2. 52 characters per line. Hit it again, S3, 45 characters per line. S4, 45 characters per line. So as it, the numbers grow up, they, as the font gets larger, the amount of characters that can be on the label gets smaller. So just for example, just to show you the comparison between the two, we're going to exit out of this. We're going to quit it. We'll program that 802 in. Hit PLU, and there's the first label, it was really, really tiny. We'll just set that there for a second. And we'll go back in, program PLU, enter, enter. And now what we'll do is we'll hit the size button and we'll make it, now we're in M1 or A27. Now when you get here, this it makes it larger. It also tends to make it bold, the font bold. So we'll move forward to M4. When you're done, hit PLU, hit your program key, program key, now you're back in scale mode. So if we go in, hit our PLU, print the label, and now you'll be able to see, so let me get this up to the camera. Sit tight, folks. There's a very, very large difference between the two. Again, I apologize for the, the focus on this. This camera doesn't really, uh, doesn't have a macro lens, so. So if that doesn't do it for you, then you can just go back in. Whoops. Go into program PLU. We'll do our PLU number sandwich and you can just continue playing with the sizes until you get what you want till you find the size that suits your purpose for ours though we're going to leave it at M3 hit the PLU clear out of it yes now you're back in scale mode And that's really all there is to it. Now I'm going to also have a picture with all the different label sizes to give you a really good idea of the, the fonts and how they look on the labels. Mm -hmm.